Welcome back to Dark Films. Today's film story is the ghost ship mystery. The ocean was calm as the cargo ship, the Athena, cut through the waves it was a routine voyage, and the crew of 16 had settled into their daily tasks. Captain Richard Grant was on the bridge, scanning the horizon for any signs of trouble. As the sun set on the third day at sea, a thick fog rolled in, obscuring the ship from view. The crew was on high alert, and Captain Grant ordered the ship's horn to sound every few minutes to warn other vessels in the area. But then, something strange happened. The horn sounded, but there was no response. No ships appeared on the radar, and the crew couldn't see anything through the dense fog. As the night wore on, the fog grew thicker, and the crew began to feel uneasy. They were all experienced sailors. But this was unlike anything they had ever experienced before. Then, just before midnight, the ship lurched to one side, throwing the crew off balance. The engine sputtered and died, and the lights flickered before going out completely. The crew scrambled to restore power, but nothing worked. The ship was dead in the water, and they were stranded in the middle of the ocean. As dawn broke, the fog lifted, and the crew was relieved to see a nearby island on the horizon. They quickly loaded the lifeboats with supplies and set off towards it, hoping to find help. But when they arrived, they found the island deserted. There were no signs of life, no fresh water, and no way to call for rescue. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. The crew struggled to survive on the island with only the supplies they had brought with them. They built shelters, hunted for food, and tried to keep their spirits up. But one by one, the crew members began to disappear. It started with the youngest sailor, then the ship's cook, and eventually even the first mate. No one knew what was happening, but they all knew they were in danger. As the last remaining crew member, Captain Grant waited for rescue, hoping against hope that someone would find them before it was too late. But as the months dragged on, he began to realize that he was alone on the island, with no way to escape. The cargo ship, the Athena, had disappeared without a trace, and its crew had vanished into thin air. It would be years before anyone found the ship again, adrift in the ocean, abandoned and ghostly. And so, a team of investigators was sent to uncover the truth about what happened to the crew and the cargo they were carrying. The investigation team arrived at the port, where the Athena was found adrift. The ship looked like it had been abandoned for years. With rusted metal and broken windows, the investigators boarded the ship and found it eerily quiet, with no signs of life or activity. As they moved deeper into the ship, they found the cargo hole, which was filled with crates and containers of various sizes. They opened one of the containers and found it empty, except for a strange residue on the bottom. The investigators took samples of the residue and sent them to the lab for analysis. Meanwhile, they began to piece together the events that led to the ship's disappearance. They interviewed Captain Grant's family and friends, hoping to learn more about the crew's personalities and motivations. They also reviewed the ship's logbooks and communication records, looking for any clues that might explain what happened. As they dug deeper, they discovered that the ship was carrying a valuable cargo of rare minerals, which had been a target for theft in the past. They also found evidence of a possible mutiny, with some crew members unhappy about their pay and working conditions. The investigation team then set their sights on finding out what happened on the island where the crew had sought refuge. They combed the island for any clues or signs of light, but found nothing except for the remnants of the crew's shelter and a few personal belongings, as they were about to give up. One of the investigators found a small notebook tucked away in the rocks near the shore. It was Captain Grant's journal, and it contained a chilling account of what had happened on the island. According to the journal, the crew had been attacked by an unknown force, which had killed or taken away the other crew members one by one. Captain Grant had managed to evade the attackers and had survived alone on the island for several years. The journal also contains sketches of strange symbols and diagrams which the investigators couldn't decipher. They sent the notebook to a team of experts in cryptology, hoping to unlock the mystery. The investigation team received the results of the analysis on the 
Residue found in the cargo hold. It turned out to be a highly toxic substance that could induce hallucinations and psychosis in those who came into contact with it. This raised the possibility that the crew had been affected by the substance, which had caused them to turn on each other or behave erratically. Meanwhile, the cryptology team had made progress in deciphering the symbols in Captain Grant's journal. They discovered that the symbols were part of an ancient ritual used to summon a powerful sea demon. It was said that the demon could grant wishes, and riches beyond imagination but at a terrible cost. The investigators realized that the rare minerals that the ship was carrying were a crucial component in the ritual, and that someone on board the ship had intended to summon the sea demon. The crew's disappearance was likely a result of the demon's wrath. The investigation team delved deeper into the crew's background and discovered that one of them, a young sailor named Michael, had a fascination with the occult and had been researching the sea demon ritual. They also found evidence that Michael had convinced some of the crew members to help him summon the demon, promising them a share of the wealth that the demon would provide. However, the ritual went wrong and the demon turned on the crew. Causing chaos and destruction, Captain Grant managed to escape. But the other crew members were not as lucky. The investigation team tracked down Michael, who had gone into hiding after the failed ritual. He admitted to his involvement in the summoning and revealed that he had been the one. To bring the toxic substance on board the ship, he had intended to use it to weaken the crew and make them more susceptible to the demon's influence. Michael was arrested and charged with several offenses, including conspiracy to commit murder and theft. The investigation team concluded that the crew's disappearance had been a tragic combination of greed, obsession, and dark magic. In the end, the Athena was towed back to port, a ghost ship with a tragic past. The investigation team had uncovered the truth about what happened to the crew and the cargo they were carrying but the mystery of the sea demon and its power would continue to haunt them thanks for watching subscribe for more new film stories